How y'all doing? I'm Justin Water. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Today we're going to go over something very beautiful and breathtaking. It's the voice of the Lord through the numerical pattern in the Bible. We're going to go over ones, twos, and threes. We're going to give you some short little rundowns of each one so that way the video is not so long and that way you can watch it to the end without having a, 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 a author confusion in the way. Okay, guys? Uh, so one, for instance, we never go over one, but one in the Bible means unity. It means power, if you will, because you got one God, one Son, one Spirit. When they become one, it's one unity. Okay, but they make our power. Okay, so for instance, you got one author each chapter. Uh, you got one Messiah. Okay, you got one. That's one author. Uh, that, that's one author and one finisher. Okay, so therefore, one is power. Okay. You also got one electronical button to turn on and off all your electronics. You got one football team, one baseball team, one Marine, one Navy, one Army, you know, one mother, one dad. One means power, okay? But two in the Bible means division, double for your trouble and sequence. You can't have one without the other. And, and, and however you react upon your division is how fast your double for your trouble comes in sequence. So Job divided between, uh, I mean, J Job Job. He, he kissed, uh, he divided between his children and possessions, but at the end of uh, Job, it says he got twice as much back. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, for remembrance. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Father, I just praise you, glorify you, Father. I just ask that you help me and give me remembrance through each and every scenario, Father, that you want me to say. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> As Job divided between his children and possessions, at the end of Job, he got twice as much back. Okay, but uh, you got Jonah, he got thrown over the boat into the well, and then he went to dry land, okay? Two cause division, but three means direction. We'll get to that next, okay? You got the two men that passed the, the, the stranger. Two cause division, but the good Samaritan helped him, picked him up. That's division, double for his trouble. And with the good Samaritan, when he asked the innkeeper, innkeeper, uh, if his, his payment exceeds its limit, he will come back and pay it. That's division, double for your trouble. Okay, you got the, the two animals see, uh, that went to the ark, two by two, that's division double for your trouble. Abraham, he wrote the Ten Commandments. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, I ask that you just slow me down, Father. I praise and glorify and edify you, Father, <laughs> for Moses writing the Ten Commandments on two tablets of stone, division double for your trouble. <laughs> Lord, I just praise you, Father. Uh, what y'all don't know is that I had just went on a five-day vow uh, to not speak, to learn self-discipline, and he's trying to slow me down right now. And so that's what this is. The humiliation is what will move you to stop doing what he don't want you to do, which is run past him, you know, when he teaches you all this knowledge and gives you all this information and all this beautiful knowledge inside uh, that you know that nobody else has taught you. Uh, he'll start showing you how to actually live accordingly to his word and become a faithful servant to his beautiful kingdom. It's gorgeous, actually. Uh, so you have to divide from your flesh from that to become born again in the spirit. Okay. Judas had to kiss Jesus to give us the blood and the spirit. That's division, double for our trouble. Uh, you got the blind man. He was covered with mud first, division. Then he saw through two eyes. Division, double for his trouble. Uh, you got... You got uh, the two men that seeked out the land of milk and honey. That's division, double free trouble. Okay, guys. But three in the Bible means direction. So the two people that passed the good, the stranger, the good Samaritan picked him up, right? Because the Holy Spirit's the third in line. The Holy Spirit is the Lord of righteousness. He is our direction. So anytime you get that, that's what you're getting, the Holy Spirit directing you, okay, through Scripture like that. Uh, you also got Abraham saw where to sacrifice Isaac on the third day. Moses, he was hit for three months. Jonathan shot three arrows for David's direction. Mordecai and Esther fasted three days and three nights. It took uh, Jonah three days to go to Nineveh. He was in the well for three days and three nights. He went over the boat, over the well, in the well, to dry land. That's the third for direction for Jonah. Uh, you got Jesus in the three crosses. He was directed to the three crosses. Three nails that hung him, three names above him. Rose on the third day. He went through life, death, and resurrection. He preached the gospel for three years, and he got crucified at the age 33, guys. Just in Jesus' life alone, he's trying to show us that three means direction, okay, guys? Uh, uh, you also got three, uh, three. Uh, David beat the lion, the bear, and the Philistine. You know, Samuel, he heard God call him three times, but didn't know it was him in, in 1 Samuel chapter 3. <laughs> I love that right there. All right, guys, so let's show you how Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, how he never changes, okay, guys? So if you go to Walmart for power, unity, 
because it's one of the most uh, distribution centers that we use the most around the world, kind of like Kroger or Walmart or that uh, um, one of my other videos. It was this business called Pulse. Okay, Th those are when it's just one word that means power, unity. Okay, so you got power, boom, unity, right? Power, Walmart, unity, but you got division because there's like, two patterns on here. You got words and a pattern. So that's division, double for your trouble, right? So you got Walmart pickup, that's division, double for your trouble, automo autom uh, automotive, and the arrow. You see how it's arrow? So it's one, two, three, boom, arrow for direction. <laughs> he never changes, guys. He, he does the same thing. Hebrews 13, 8 says it. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. What he did on that sign, he does on every sign. So we're going to go over here. We're going to come over here to the main main thing here. Main building. I don't think you can see it. It says grocery on one side, Walmart, and the sign on one side. And, and, and it says home and pharmacy on the other side. Come on, I don't like the awful confusion. Let's drive a little bit. Y'all want to? You want to drive with me a little bit? Ugh. This is how the fear of the Lord looks right here. This will make you do a lot of things that you usually don't do. Let's see here. Bear with me, guys. So, just like Jesus Christ, he walked around everywhere. We get to drive. Thank the Lord for automobiles. Thank the Lord for automobiles. Okay, guys. So, let's not have a car wreck. <laughs> name of Jesus. Y'all see how we're the third car, too? One, two, three. <laughs> we're the third car. A everywhere I drive like that, it's called Godhead. He shows himself to you. When you diligently seek the Holy Spirit, he'll show himself to you through Godhead uh, to allow you to see the process uh, of the Holy Spirit directing your path everywhere you go. It's pretty beautiful, actually. I, I'll go way out of town or, or somewhere out in the wilderness, you know, and uh, I'll be the third car to go every <laughs> the whole the whole way, you know, the whole way. All right, guys, let's get up out of here, and I'll show you what we're talking about. So you see how it was Walmart pickup and automo uh, automotive right there at the bottom uh, on the sign, right? And it had the direction for the third sign to show you which direction to go. Well, here... You got grocery on the first sign, right? You got grocery for the first sign. That's that's the power. That's the unity. That's what the unity part is. That's the unity portion of the building. Okay. So you got grocery. Boom. And then on the second sign. You have division double for your trouble because you have two sections. You have words and a symbol. So that's division double for your trouble to show you what this place of business is called. But you also have one big bold word for Walmart to show you another unity, to show you another portion of what the building's called. So you have grocery for direction and unity into that building right there. That's the power, that's the power building, right? That's the power doors. That's what you want to go into first. Grocery, boom. Division, double for your trouble. And then the, this is how you know this is the direction part of it. So that first side is the, un, the unity part. That's the power part. That's the most, most door you want to use the most. And this is how you know for fact that this is the other double for your trouble door that shows you direction because it only has three words. See, one, two, three. See how this numerical sequence goes in pattern every single thing. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It's grocery on one side for unity, power. You got double for your trouble. And then three words right there, home and pharmacy. <laughs> See how beautiful God's word is? It never changes. It never stops. It's, it's everlasting to everlasting, guys. Please jump on board and subscribe at the bottom. You're not following me. You're following true powers of the Holy Spirit that's teaching you all these things. This is beautiful to me. That's why I get excited about this. That's why I talk about this all the time. It's God's voice to us.
please just jump on board. Help spread the seeds. Help spread the gospel. I don't have Facebook. I don't have Instagram. I don't have none of that stuff. If y'all get this gospel out sooner, everybody will realize that God exists. Maybe they'll start serving Him and start coming coming to His throne room and coming to His feet and worshiping Him the way He should want to be worshipped. As the King of kings and the Lord of the lords would want to be worshipped by all these people. Please help me, Father, in the name of Jesus. I just ask that you help God and direct me to each and every soul that wants to be heard. The Word of God be poured upon their heart, Father, and to be poured upon their happiness and upon their joy and upon everything that they need, Father, to, to be able to want to spread your gospel, to have ambition to want to spread your Word, to have the ambition to want to spread your love and your compassion of your Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, your beautiful Son that His blood was shed on His cross for our sins. Please, Father, help us in the name of Jesus. I just thank you for doing these things. In the beautiful Son's name, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen. Y'all have a beautiful day. Please subscribe at the bottom. Please jump on board, man. He's coming back soon, I promise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.